Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a daily vibes for February 11th. This is for whoever, whenever. This is for you. What do we got? February 11th. What do we got? Woo, beautiful. All right. So, it looks to me like we have a new opportunity here. Something big, a big opportunity after, after there's been some sort of uh, connection that has fallen apart, right? We have a new opportunity. Um, something something big okay that could lead to stability something that for a person that probably has been single for a while okay if you are single if this is going to go both ways so just just bear with me here if you are single you have a new opportunity coming in because you've let go of a false contract if you are in a false contract it looks to me like you are going to be single and you will receive a golden opportunity or a big opportunity probably within a year but we have this somebody here that is doing quite well on their own. They are um, very abundant. They're doing quite well, very well. They've evolved. They've healed. They're no longer focused on the hurt. Um, and now, it's, the time is now. The time has come. The time has come because somebody has patiently worked on themselves. And now they are so good. Now they are so stable and secure and abundant that we have this new opportunity coming in. It's because somebody has found the strength and the courage and the confidence to pick themselves back up from a difficult contract that didn't work out. Because somebody has found the strength to not communicate, to not put in effort, to not move in that direction now they're they they may have went through a period of doubt thinking that nobody was going to come nobody was ever going to come and now we have this arrival i think that somebody has been watching in the distance and this person is finally going to come forth with some sort of communication that could lead to something solid stable and secure um i think the time is now so i feel like somebody is going to be receive a message that has been delayed this message has been delayed for some reason because I feel like this person that is going to be communicating may have been going through some sort of conflict in their lives, you know, and they may have had to pick themselves back up from a situation before they could be strong enough to communicate. Maybe they were getting out of a relationship. Maybe they were getting a divorce. Who knows? I feel like this person is probably going to um, be coming in very, very quickly, soon, very soon. Um, the time is now. The time is now, definitely. So if you are the single person that is watching this and you are doing quite well, you're on your own, you're loving life, you're getting up in the morning with a smile on your face, there is very good potential that you are going to receive an offer that is something that you manifested. Okay, you manifested this. Um, and it's been, it's like you've had, it's been delayed. It's been delayed for some reason because I feel like this person was probably in a contract that they needed to get out of, you know, and that's why they couldn't come forward. So for some of you, for the single person that is watching this and you've been single, say, for at least nine months, nine to ten months, um, maybe even a year. Say you've been single for nine months to a year. Uh, here it is. Okay? Maybe even more. If you've been single for more than that, whatever. I feel like the time is now. It's your time. It's time. The finally. Finally. It's like... So that's what I see there. If you are... Um, coupled you know there could be some 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 arguments here there could be some conflicts here and somebody's thinking about being single in search for something better a bigger opportunity i want something better i want something more abundant you know i need to find my strength and my courage to 
stand up for myself. So I feel like we have a, a probably if there's a if there's a relationship here that is not compatible. Okay, there is definitely not compatible, and there's a better one waiting. But you have to go down that new path. So if you have been waiting. If you are single and you've been waiting, here it comes. Okay, here it, here it comes. If you are um, coupled, you may have to cut somebody out. Okay? Um, it does look like somebody is cutting somebody out. Okay? Somebody is cutting somebody out of their life. It's making a cut. It's like, you know what? I'd rather be alone. I would rather be alone. And it's like she's cutting him. Look at where the sword is. You know? I'd rather be alone. And this is not the same woman, as you can see. You know? I'd rather be alone than be in this kind of situation. <laughs> so, I really feel like we have somebody here that is, is deciding that I would... For some... If you were in a relationship now... So this is a this is a female that is deciding that I don't need this shit anymore. I'm better off on my own. So that's for some of you. Um, if you are the male watching this, you you are probably dealing with a female that can hurt you. <laughs> just saying I mean she can definitely hurt you she can hurt you she she has a weapon in her hand and she has a very sharp tongue and she you know she's been hurt herself so anybody that hurts her can expect to get it right back so just beware um <laughs> Ooh. I definitely see a single woman here because these are both a single woman. These are both single women. They are typically. I mean, they're not always single for their whole life, but in the meanings of the cards. We definitely have a woman here that is headed in a headed towards victory and success because she's finding the strength and the courage to Probably not communicate with the past. Not hold on to the past. To not fight. It's like, even though she will fight, if you if you step on her toes, she will fight. But I think this woman, whoever this woman is that's watching this, is finding the strength and the courage to let go. Because this is the strength to let go of the past. So I, this is the strength to let go of the past. So I think that we do have some woman here that is watching this, that is finding this, the confidence, the, the self-esteem, everything. You know, she's just, she's made the cut. So we have a woman here that has, has decided to let go of this false contract once and for all. And because she has made that decision to, 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 to cut that shit, to cut the cord, to literally cut the cord... Now there's a new opportunity. And she may think that she's going to be alone. You know, it's fine. I'll be alone. I don't give a shit. I would rather be alone. But now we have this person that's been watching behind the scenes. Maybe this person sees that she's finally cut out the past. And what the hell is this? They've been keeping silent. I think there is somebody that's been watching behind the scenes that has not been speaking up. This may be this may be somebody from the past, somebody else. You never know. There's so many people in our past. People people they get this one track mind. A reader mentions the past and they automatically think the past that's in their heart, right? The the instant one that feeds their heart, the one that broke their heart. That's what they think. They automatically go to the one that broke their heart. You know how many times I have I have heard the past in a reading and thought it was my ex and come to find out it was somebody else? Multiple times. Not just my readings, other readers' readings. Somebody from the past, I mean, how many relationships have you had? How many people have you worked with? 
How many people have you flirted with? So anyhow, I feel like there is somebody that you have known in this lifetime. Known and had some sort of connection with that has been watching behind the scenes. And perhaps they were in some sort of contract that they needed to get out of. Or you needed to get out of. Either way. And now is the time. Now is the time. I think the communication was delayed because somebody was going through some sort of turmoil. And it's over. It's over. Now now they can progress forward. Now it's time. Now they can. Now they can. So be prepared. Perhaps you're going to receive some sort of new opportunity in the next few days that is a big one. It could lead to something really good. Um, what is this new opportunity anyway? It's an opportunity to let go of a negative situation, for one thing. It's an opportunity to be happy again. It's an opportunity to bring balance back to your life. It's, a, it's an opportunity to let go of a, of a karmic situation. Somebody has not been letting, they've not, they haven't been treating themselves fairly. Somebody hasn't been getting the justice they deserve. It's a time, it's an opportunity to let go of the depression that you've been in. And to bring stability back to your life. But I really feel like somebody is, is really unstable. Really unstable and insecure with letting anybody come into their lives really have their guard up. We have somebody here that really, 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 really has their guard up. Although we have somebody on the outside that probably wants to communicate, but, you know, maybe it's still delayed. Maybe it's still delayed because this person is trying to rebuild their abundance, you know? They want to they wanna come with a big offer, you know? Maybe they feel like they don't have enough to offer right now, so it's delayed. But this is divine timing. Maybe there's a little bit more time that is needed. Patience. Be patient. It's coming. Somebody is interested. Keep working on yourself. Don't look back. Don't look back at this past because you're you're making progress and you're headed towards victory and success. Whoever is meant for you is working on themselves right now. They have just gotten out of a karmic contract and they're working on their stability. They're working on bringing back their happiness. They're making progress. They're finding their confidence again. They're healing. They may have been hurt by this other woman, whoever this woman was. I don't know. Could be you. You could be this woman that was hurt. Whatever. This can go so many different ways. Somebody has been cut out of another person's life harshly. 
and now they are regaining their stability and their security and and they're probably watching you and they're wanting to communicate but they're just not stable right now they're not stable they're not where they want to be so be patient be patient i have to tell you that this is a soulmate connection that is coming together and i, I really feel like perhaps you just need to wait a little bit longer okay they're both reversed it's like right now it's like you can't you can't come together with this person because it's just things are too unbalanced on both sides on both sides so it feels like even though we got somebody here that is doing quite well working on their doing very well doing very well things are still unstable maybe it's time to focus on your job maybe it's fine to time to focus on your business you don't have time for love I mean it's all about money it's all about money you know it's all about security it's all about whatever money security stability whatever so it feels like love is is not where it's at right now but it's coming it's coming it is it is it, it's coming I think that two people are making progress heading towards each other but I think that both of these people have gotten out of a karmic contract and now you know in order for them to to come together together they both have to be upright you know they both have to be in their right state of mind they both have to be grounded and they both have to be ready for love so I feel like you you know it's coming it's coming be patient it's almost there it is almost there right now it's delayed right now it is delayed I think this is somebody that you know I do. I think it's somebody that you probably grew up with or somebody from your hometown or somebody that you have memories, some sort of memories with. Um, but there's there's silence going on right now because it's just, it's creeping up. It's creeping up. It's, it's coming. It's coming, but all in divine timing, be patient. You will come together with this person. You will, but, and I think, it, it, I mean, it could be an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, we have Leo, we have Gemini, we have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, we have Libra a couple times, we have Sagittarius, we have Leo, um, we have everybody, so it doesn't really matter, but I feel as though, you know, we have two people that are going to come together in divine timing when the time is exactly right when both people are here that's what this is when both people are single loving it doing good waking up in the morning with a smile on their face that's when they that's when they will come together so keep doing what you're doing because you're making you're doing the right thing you're headed in the right direction um, somebody is interested somebody is interested but I think there's a contract that has just ended and it takes time it takes time so soulmate connection for sure with that king and queen of pentacles I mean definitely a soulmate two soulmates are going to be brought together um, and it is going to lead to something really solid and stable I mean you look at all these pentacles here I mean it's this, this reading is pr primarily driven by pentacles if you ask me so um, it's it's going to lead to something stable and secure. But right now, you have to be stable and secure with yourself, and so doesn't the other person, before you guys can come together. And that's why. Things are unbalanced right now. Things are not, you know, it wouldn't be fair. It wouldn't be fair. You have to get right before you can come together and have something stable with somebody. I mean, you have to. It's just that's a practical thing to do. Uh-oh. Passion and pleasure. Savor your life. Find joy in the moment, no matter what is occurring in your life. If you simply focus on what is splendid, wonderful, and pleasurable in the moment, everything improves. Live deliciously. Love often and live fully. Cherish your friendships. Fill your life with the people, experiences, and places that give you delight and joy. Let go of those people and things that don't appreciate or empower you. Give yourself permission to be happy. 
It really is perfect. It is. Work on yourself. Like I said, wake up in the morning with a smile on your face. Prove that you're ready. That you're free of that false contract, that karmic contract that didn't work out. And that's when it will happen. When you truly heal and evolve, that's when it will happen. And that's what I have. Good luck.